Hey guys, Justice here with TomorrowsFilmmakers.com, the largest online film academy in the world. And today we're gonna be talking about something a little bit different. I know in this channel we always talk about eight steps to cinematic transitions or composition or lighting or drones or all that kind of filmmaking stuff, but I wanna talk about something that's actually really important to me as well, and that is watching movies. If you're gonna be good at filmmaking, you need to be watching films. I have never met a professional filmmaker who doesn't watch films and movies all the time. Even if he doesn't wanna make feature films or make short films, you need to be watching films constantly. I've never met a famous musician who doesn't listen to the best artists. I've never met someone who wanted to be a famous guitar player that didn't listen to Jimi Hendrix. If you want to be the best in your craft, you learn from those that are already there. And the way to do that is to watch films, watch miniseries, watch documentaries, watch Netflix. I mean, binge watching something has never actually been a job until now. So the reason I'm bringing all this up is because I thought to myself, what a better time to talk about my home theater setup or more specifically, my home theater chairs which is the Valencia Tuscany Home Theater Chairs. And like I say in all of our videos, if you'd like to learn more about any subject in the filmmaking world, you can check out our full academy at tomorrowsfilmmakers.com. We have over a thousand training videos and over a hundred hours of content on every aspect of filmmaking. With over 15,000 students in over 50 countries, our award-winning film course is your one stop to learn all the skills that you need to succeed. Right now we're running an insane deal of only 97 bucks. A lifetime membership to our award-winning $800 film course is only $97. If you'd like to learn more, click the link in the description below and head on over to tomorrowsfilmmakers.com to learn more. Now first off, do I claim to be a professional with home theater setup and know everything about them? No. But I do know what works and what doesn't work. And that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. We'll be going over the setup, the features, and the pros and cons. Now I have six Valencia home theater seating. You can purchase these chairs as individual chairs, rows, curved, armrests in the middle, no armrests, all different colors. So the customization is really anything you want it to be. Now when it comes to pricing, these chairs are going to be competing with the higher brands and the nicer chairs. You can always find chairs that are maybe 500 bucks a piece and they have zero features and you have to recline manually and they're made of really cheap leather. The Tuscany seating blows these out of the water. A simple design with simple controls result in an incredibly comfortable theater chair that I could spend all day in. Now the setup of these chairs is surprisingly easy and doesn't require any bolts or screws. They come in two sections. You simply slide the top part onto the bottom section and connect the two cords and literally that is it. No dealing with trying to put on armrests and then leveling everything out. Two pieces, two cords, and you're done. Now the features of these chairs though are the main reason you'll be buying them. These chairs come with three points of contact and you can adjust all three. First is the recliner position. By pressing the button, the footrest of the recliner will start to extend, and when they are fully extended, the entire chair will then start to recline. That way, if you want to sit upright with a footrest, you're able to do that without the recliner immediately making you lay down. The recliner itself will lay back to almost 70 degrees and is really comfortable for watching movies. Next is the headrest. Another button will affect just the headrest, allowing you to find the perfect angle to watch your movies. You don't feel like you need a pillow or some sort of extra neck support like other theater chairs. You simply get the reclining position you want, then adjust the headrest and you're ready to go. And then they have the middle support or lumbar support. This will give you the support you need in the center of your back. I find I use this the least amount out of the two, but just a little support goes a really long way. Those are the three main things that you can affect in these chairs so you can get the perfect viewing angle and comfort to watch your TV. Other features include premium top grain leather in all the chairs, LED cup holders, ambient base lighting, and even hidden storage areas underneath both arms. Now when it comes to pros and cons with these chairs, the pros are pretty much everything we just talked about. They're well-made, premium leather, fully customizable, comfy design, motorized recliners, easy setup. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better theater chair. 
The cons I have found have just been from me using it for a while and getting a little irritated with some of the features. Number one is the button location and the quality of the buttons is severely lacking. In the more expensive chairs that they have, you can upgrade the buttons to be on the cup holder or picture buttons for reclining and coming back up. But in the base model, which is what I have, it's literally a black button next to your knee. I mean, you won't be using the buttons all the time because you set them once and then watch your movie, but the buttons feel really cheap and not the greatest quality. So the buttons and the location are not my favorite. Number two is the size. And the size of these chairs is perfect for anyone under maybe six foot two, six foot one. And if you're taller than that, you might not be quite as comfortable. Me, unfortunately being only five foot eight, love the feeling of these chairs, but if you're really tall, you might run into some issues. So that's just something to be aware of. And finally, number three might be kind of petty, but it really annoys me. Now there are these trays that come with the chairs that allow you to put a small tray on the armrest. It's a tray with a metal rod that sticks into the armrest. They have these options on either side and there are no covers or anything that come with the chair. So without fail, every single person that has sat in the chair has asked me what this button does. And they stick their finger in it and they try to figure out what it does and it irritates the crap out of me, okay? <laughs> Some sort of cover or something would have been amazing for these random silver button looking things on the armrest. But those are pretty much the only cons I have found with the chairs. They are super comfortable, very well made, easy to set up, and with the LED lighting, completely changes the theater setup. So, in the end, I would highly recommend these chairs for anyone wanting to upgrade their current TV location to maybe purchasing a home theater setup, or maybe you just want a chair or two to be more comfortable whenever you're studying film. So if this is something you're interested in, I would definitely suggest pursuing it. If you just want to sit on your couch and watch TV, that's perfectly fine. But be sure that you watch movies and you learn filmmaking. Don't just sit around and think that you'll eventually learn. Watch the best and learn from the best. And speaking of learning from the best, if you'd like to learn any subject of filmmaking, no matter what it is, from industry-leading professionals, Check out our full academy at tomorrowsfilmmakers.com. We have over a thousand training videos and over a hundred hours of content on every single filmmaking subject, again, taught by leading professionals in the industry. You can join over 15,000 other filmmakers just like you pursuing their dreams to become professional filmmakers, whether that's making feature films or short films or starting your own film business. Either way, we will give you all the skills that you need to succeed. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope that has helped you out. If you'd like to learn more about filmmaking, click the link in the description below and head on over to tomorrowsfilmmakers.com to learn more. <laughs>